Hey, welcome back to another episode of the Auto Cycle Build. On the last episode, you guys saw me pull basically everything out of here because I didn't want to damage the electronics while I was well. So now that the welding's all finished up for now, I want to go ahead and reassemble it. So the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take this pan off and then we're going to do a bead of sealant. Do a bead of polyurethane sealant all the way around the perimeter of it. Put it back on there and bolt it in place. That's going to help hold it in place and support our load. So let's get to it. all the way around. Now, what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead, put the batteries back in here, and then tomorrow after all this has time to set up, we're gonna go ahead and install the controller. I have some thermally conductive epoxy that I'm gonna use to bond the controller down and bolt it down as well. That way it's able to dissipate the heat into the entire frame chassis. Next, next we put a controller in. We're gonna do some thermal epoxy. That way it's got good connectivity down into our base plate. Service preparation is key. So I'm gonna take, wipe everything down with some acetone, get it all completely cleaned off, and then we'll go ahead and mix up some epoxy and bond it down. So we're gonna go ahead and just leave these little guys on here. They should be playing. Just kidding. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and replace these terminal links with a quarter inch by one inch aluminum bars. Uh, plenty of current carrying capability. It should be about 300 amps or so. That's more than we'll be ever pulling through the motor. So that's gonna be the next step, replace get all these squared away, make our cover panel, and then install our BMS right on top of it. Next, I'm gonna put our terminals onto our BMS cable, and that way, as I'm going along, I can just put the BMS cable in parallel with it.
you guys do for a little bit. Uh, battery died. As a demonstration of our power, in one major American city each week. Battery is. So got a fresh charge, new day. Um, pretty much finished up. All I had left was this one guy right here, and then the end terminal. So I just put one of the end terminals on here. You kind of see the lug right here, and that's gonna run back. That's our negative post, and then our positive is gonna come down over the top on this side. Uh, let me see if I can find where I set it down. And then we have this one right here. This is the forward one, and this is gonna have the main terminal for the contact relay and then from here is going to be for our charging so main negative main positive and then i made this battery cover out of some uh, shaped acrylic i was worried about this and looks like i'm gonna have to cut out that front corner a little bit The easiest way to cut acrylic too is you just heat it up and then you just cut it with a pair of scissors or aviation snips. Otherwise, it'll crack. So if you heat it up, it'll just cut right through it like butter. on here, put the carbon fiber on top, flip it over, this is a nice level surface, and then we're gonna take, weigh it down, and just use gravity. In case I don't see ya. 
Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> yeah.